how to submit a run on speedrun.com. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at speedrun.com, and I'm giving a big shout out to all the gamers out there. If you're playing Xbox, if you are on PlayStation, if you are on PSP, even on your desktop, on a laptop, it does not matter. I'm giving a shout out to you guys, because if it wasn't for you guys, a platform like this wouldn't exist. So basically what Speedrun does or allows you to do is if you are screen recording the games that you're playing, you can actually upload that screen recording here with a bunch of details and you can actually get some recognition for levels that you have passed in a particular time or games that you've completed in a particular time. So Without further ado, this is what their homepage looks like. And as you can see, as you're running down this page, you can see a bunch of the latest runs. So at the top, you can see that this is the game's name and then the conditions of the game. So this was a, in this particular game, a marathon, and it was done backwards. This person is in first place for these specifics. And this person did it in four minutes, one second and six, seven, two milliseconds. And it was posted one hour ago. If you hover your mouse cursor over there, it gives you the date and the time that it was actually submitted. And then there is the user and also the country that the user is in. So as you go down, there are featured videos. There are new games. It tells you also how many players are actually playing each one of these games that are in this platform and as you can see there are a bunch more featured games and this is very active so you can see all of these games that we're scrolling down to these have all been posted within the last hour so as you can see here this is the last one and as you scroll up again you can see how many was posted in the last hour they also offer the latest gaming news right over here. So if there is something that you want to read about, you can actually read it right over here. There also is a welcome story so you can read more about Speedrun and see what they're actually about. And as you go down there, there are a bunch of other stories you can go into. Now, the way to submit your own run is relatively easy. At the top of your page, you can see that there is games, forums, support, and then you have the three dots, which gives you news streams and where you can become a supporter. Then we're going to go into the search bar right over here. And now is the point where we can really start to get into it. So you can tap on that and you can enter in a game name here of your choice. So I'm going to put in Need for Speed over here. And if you're familiar, Need for Speed brought out a bunch of games from the early 90s, if I'm not mistaken, up until current. So there are a ton of Need for Speed games. As you can see here, you can now choose the game that you actually want to submit a run for. We are going to now presume that you have actually played the game and you have actually screen recorded what run you would like to submit because without actually recording the run, there is no hard evidence that you've actually done it in the set time that you've said you've done it. So, for example, we are going to go into Need for Speed Most Wanted, which was produced in 2005. And personally, it was one of my favorite Need for Speed games in the Need for Speed series. And as you can see here now, the iconic BMW M3 in the background and and gives you a bit of a breakdown of the game itself right over here in the top. You can also boost, follow, and there are a few other options over here. You can use the theme for your own profile. And as you go down here, there is a leaderboard. And right here, you can define what sort of things that you want to see here. Now, of course, if you're familiar with this game, you will understand what is going on. So the first thing that you want to have a look at is this over here and it says full game so this is where you can define what challenges we are actually looking at so if you go down a little bit on this page you can see that there are some people that have actually completed the full game over here this person has completed the full game in three hours 23 minutes and 33 seconds 
And really, if you ask me, that is unbelievable. Three and a half hours, basically, to complete the full game. It is quite a challenge. So if you're opening that window at the top, now you can see a bunch of different challenges. So, of course, this being a racing game, there are different racing modes. So there are circuits and then there are different tracks. So you're going into circuits or drags, knockouts. There are also speed traps and there are sprints and so forth. So there's a bunch of different gaming modes on different locations, different tracks. So you can basically choose what it is that you would like to do a challenge on or submit a speed run on. So I'm going to tap full game. I'm going to keep it just like that. And you can see here that we have some specifications so in many games there are some additional challenges that have to be done to complete the game or make the game completion a hundred percent so you can either have career 100 percent or the game 100 percent you can also use the challenge series or you can have the career mode at any percentage so as you're going down here you will now see everybody's different statistics so what we want to do is on this tab, we want to tap on submit run. And this is where we will actually submit a run of our own. And this is the page that we're going to do this on. If you travel down here, you can now actually start to put in all the details. Again, on the right hand side over here, you can see the game stats. So this is how many followers the game has how many runs that have been submitted it gives you some information there and the amount of players that these runs have been submitted by on the left hand side which is the main part of the screen you can now see it says submit run over here and here's where you can actually start defining all of the different bits and pieces so of course first thing the scope would be what challenge you're actually doing and we went through that on the previous page so it's a different game mode and it'll be different locations or you can just do the full game so we're going to select full game and we're going to go down now to the career whether it is any percentage 100 percent challenge series game completion 100 percent or segmented we're going to go career 100 percent and you can now go down and you can see here that it's filtered by glitches or no major glitches so we're going to say it's some glitches because there are sometimes some glitches in a game which can delay the amount of time that it takes you to complete the game. Then we're going to go down again and you're going to see right over here that there is a part where you can enter your name. So you can now enter your player name right over here and that should possibly be your profile name which you can find up at the top right hand side just over here you can see all the details of your profile and once you have entered your name you can now go down to the details now again i'm going to presume that you have already done this run and you can see here now it says these times determine the placement of the run on the leaderboards for the selected category shorter times are considered better now obviously shorter times are considered better because it is a racing game and these people are racing so the quicker you're going to do it the better so we're going to now enter the load removed time so the load removed time is the leaderboard for this game are sorted with this timer by default. So basically, this is how long it took for you to open the game, complete the game and close the game. Then the real time attack over here, you're going to put in your hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. And then the in-game time, that's the amount of time that it took for you to actually be inside the game and complete. Then as you're going down, you can see it says video. And the moderators for this game require video proof in order to verify your run. Now, of course, yes, they need to verify the run. So what you are either doing is you're uploading it to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're uploading this video, you're entering the URL right over here. So you can just, wherever it is, you can right click it, copy the link and paste it right in over here so that the moderators can review it and tell you if it is true or not. They need to verify it. Then some other details over here. These values provide useful information about your run. However, they do not affect its placement on the leaderboard. So you need to 
specify the date that it was actually completed on. You can also specify the region that it was done in, so your actual location and then the platform now the platform of course is important so if you're using a computer an xbox xbox 360 a playstation or a game cube you can then choose what you are actually using right over there and if you are using an emulator then you can just toggle that on if you are not you can just toggle it off then you come down to the description and right over here you can put in a full description of what you actually went through while going through this challenge you can put anything you want in this description over here you can also change the text style the alignment you can also quote you can enter some code change the style of the text you can enter also an image you can hyperlink your text and you can also include a video right over here you can see you can also change it to the different views so you can either change it to a more advanced view so you can use code and then you can just change the way people see the description then if you are playing multiplayer and there is a split screen involved you can actually put the url right over here to the split screen so the other person that was involved in the race and then it says here once submitted this run will need to be manually approved by a game moderator before it can be appearing on a leaderboard so right over here once you're done with all of those details you're going to tap on submit and then a moderator is going to come around it's going to he's going to watch your video and is going to verify that everything that you're saying over here throughout this entire run is true. And there you go. That is how you submit a run or a speed run on speedrun.com. For all the gamers out there, keep on gaming. And if you like this video, hit us up with a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.